Hello, friends. It's nice to see you again on this Friday. Hi, hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> so, parents, we got to get you to pull some stuff out of your packet. So, I need you to pull the sheet first. It's all about me. And, friends, while they are pulling this out of their packet, um, what we're going to do is we're going to fill it out first and then you can color it however you want to color it and then we're going to cut it out so um you guys probably should have your paper by now so what we're going to do is we're going to go over some materials that you're going to need and you're actually going to need these materials um, for all three things that we're going to do today so it's going to it's going to be a multi-use so we need a pair of scissors and remember scissor safety please uh, we need crayons pick any colors that you want and we need a glue stick. So for this sheet, um, and you can use a pencil if you want, or you can use your crayons just to keep it colorful, um, whatever your preference is, whatever's easier for you. Um, so we're gonna use this sheet and we're gonna fill in the, we're gonna fill in the blanks first, then you can color it and then we're gonna cut it out. And what we're gonna do with this at the end is we're gonna put the pieces together and we're gonna make a booklet. So you can just flip through the booklets and it's gonna be like your own little all about me story. And you can just like fold the end um, to hold the pages together. You can staple it. You can hole punch it just like this and put a piece of string through it or a piece of yarn just to hold it together. So the first question of your story is my full name is. So here you're going to list your first name, your middle name, your last name. And then the second part is I'm blank years old. So you're going to put in how old are you? And then you're going to put in I'm in the blank grade. So when you get to past kindergarten, you're in first, second, third, fourth. Those are your numbers for your grades. Preschool doesn't have a number, so it's just preschool. Um, so you can just figure that out how you want, or you can leave a blank. The third one is, this is a picture of me. So you're gonna draw a picture of yourself. And then over here, you're gonna write, my favorite blank is blank. So this could be a favorite animal. It could be a favorite toy. So if it was, say, a favorite animal, for example, you would go, my favorite animal is a dog. So it would be animal and dog, and then why. So it's because, and then you would just put why that is your favorite animal. So this one's pretty simple. So once you get all of that filled in, friends, just color it however you want, um, and then you're gonna cut out each of the squares, and then you're gonna put it together. And like I said, you can use a stapler, be creative, however you want. Um, to hold it together and then it's going to be just a little booklet all about you. So we're going to set that aside. Um, so our next one that we're going to make, um, it's actually can be a fun little game. It's actually going to be two games. Um, so one is like fine motor. So it's basically like using your hands, you're going to be pointing the things. And the second one's going to be some gross motor. So it's going to be like your larger, larger muscles, larger body movements that you can do um, with these. So Parents, you have these two sheets in your packet. I need you to pull those out. And friends, you're gonna need your crayons and your scissors. So you can go ahead and color those however you want to. It's easier if you just do it on the sheet before we start cutting out. Color them up, make them pretty. Um, and then whenever you're done coloring them, then you can cut them out. So then after they're cut out, it's gonna be just a really weird wonky shape. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna they fold into each other. So essentially what we're gonna do at the end, we're gonna make a cube, we're gonna make two cubes. So once you have them all put together, you can take use tape um, or you can, use, I mean, you can use your glue, um, but what me and Miss Becky found out whenever we tried it, the glue didn't hold enough because you're rolling the dice and they kept falling apart. So we had to put tape on ours. So, I mean, glue might work for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could probably glue some, but you might have to tape some. I think there should be tape in your art supplies and glue. In your bins. Yeah. This wonderful thing. Both things should be in there. So this is what it'll look like once you have it put together. So this is um, the like larger body, like the gross motor one that you would do, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to roll it. And I got leg landed upright so you can be creative with this and so legs so what kind of like large muscle activity do you think you guys could do with your legs so we did some stuff last week when we were doing our complex moves um we were kicking 
you can practice kicking a ball or you could even lay on your back. Uh, friends, we've done this with our yoga cards. Do you remember? Um, when we've laid on our backs, we've put our feet up in the air and then we've actually like pretended to pedal um, with our legs like imaginary. So that would be a really good one for that. So you're just gonna use your creativity and decide what activity you wanna use with whatever body part that you get on this cube. So you're just gonna just take it in your hand and you're gonna roll it and then it's gonna come on the table and then you're gonna get something. And this time I got a hand. So I'm just gonna choose to wave to you because I miss you. So then the other cube, Miss Becky can explain that one to you. Okay, so this cube would be for the fine body movements. And this is mainly all the different features on your face. Face. So I'm gonna roll it and I got ear. So you can point to your ear and we can try it again. Got eye, point to your eye. And then there's hair on here and mouth and nose. So this just helps you learn your different body parts. Yep, it helps with recognition and it gets you up and moving when yep. you have this view. So it's really fun. It's um, and it's really a really good way to learn your body parts yes. um, because it's really important to be able to name your body parts. Um, so our next little fun activity is we're going to pull out your family al album that you created already. Pull that yeah. back out. Yeah, I remember we talked about this a couple days ago. Um, you're going to create a family album. This is a really fun activity, and this is a great thing that you can even save and look back on. So parents, you're gonna to have to help your children with this, help them write in it. Um, so we talked about decorating the front page of it, of the family album. And then you can put real pictures or have your child draw pictures and then write what you're doing in the picture. Okay, so I just had a picture of me and my son and I wrote Miss Becky and son walking dogs. And Miss Becky and son playing basketball. So this part of the album you should have already done, but if you haven't, Go ahead and do that. And then today, an added thing to the album is you're going to put on things that you enjoy doing. So I just put Miss Becky enjoys walking her dogs. So parents, your child can just draw a picture and you just write something they enjoy. Here's another one, Miss Becky enjoys working in her garden. And like I said, you can use real pictures or draw the pictures and please send us pictures of your albums as you're working on them. Okay, great. Now, friends, we are going to read a story. It's called A World of Families. Since we've been talking a lot about families, we've been talking a lot about ourselves. Um, this is a, a good book to tie it all together. So does anybody know what kind of book this is? This is a hard book or a soft book? Yes, it is a soft book. What part of the book is this called? It's the front. What about this part? Perfect, the back. And this tricky piece right here, what is this called? You're right, it's the spine. Um, who writes the words to the book? Anybody know who writes the words that we read? Yes, that's the author, good job. And who draws the pictures? This one's sometimes a little bit tricky. Does anybody remember? No, it's okay, I'll tell you. It's the illustrator. So this story's title is A World of Families by Tish Holland. Tish Holland is the author. So these are just some fun activities that these families are doing. They look like they're playing tug of war and on here, they're sitting on their porch and it looks like they're playing a guitar and singing as a family. Families around the world come in all sizes and combinations. Even though they look different, families like and do many things that are the same. The people and families eat together. They play sports and games together. Look, does this look familiar? This looks like what Miss Becky was doing last week okay. out in the parking lot whenever yep. we were playing with the balls. This little boy is dribbling and that's what Miss Becky was doing. They go places together. Does that, do any of you have bikes that you ride at home or the park? Riding bikes as a family is a lot of fun. Even riding by yourself is a lot of fun. 
Some families even work together. Just like what we were talking about this morning, we're get, giving you guys some new skills to learn. Yeah. And by helping folding the laundry, helping prepare a meal, that's all working together because you're working as a family within your home. Families sing, dance, and make music together. Well, we've been doing that, what, the past two weeks, yeah. friends? We've been making music together, bringing music into your home through these videos. And with you doing these along with us, you're bringing music into your home because you're creating the same music. And I'm sure you guys listen to your own music too, whether you're in the car, you're in your house. They read to each other and tell stories. Exactly what we're doing right yeah. now. We're <laughs> telling stories because we... Even though we aren't technically your family, we are your school family. So whenever we're in school, like we are a family. But then when you're at home, you have your home, your family. They carry on family traditions. They celebrate family events. When holidays come, families gather with grandparents, aunt, uncles, and cousins. On those days, families make special memories. I'm sure you guys make memories every single day. The people and families around the world love and care for each other, just as the people in your family love and care for you. The end. Wow, I really like that book. That was the first time that I ever read the story. There's a really good representation on family and what family is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Yes, that was a really good one. So just like we talked about in the book, um, there's a really great website you can go to. It's www.bing.com slash videos slash search body plus parts plus dance. And there's a really good um, music and movement dance for the children to do involving all their body parts. It's fun. You can get the whole family involved with it. All right, friends, we will see you in just a little bit for a super fun science experience. Yes. I can't wait. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. See you soon.